I mean, I think the best ski we make, in all honesty, is the TX. I really do. And probably for me, the super light version. Because I, you know, I'm into, I'm an engineer, so I like the carbon fiber and PVC foam. And the story behind super light was we were developing all of these crossover skis. And we lean really heavily on our test team. Marcus Brown, John Travers, Will Asher, Bob Lapointe, myself. That's really the core group who's designing skis. And we would test these skis and they're like, man, these skis rip. There's a lot of good stuff happening here. We can learn from this. We can probably incorporate this in some of our syndicate stuff, like, which now you're seeing actually, you know? But the one thing everybody would ask for would say, hey, can you make it with the syndicate materials? Can you make it with a carbon fiber lamp? And so I started making these one-off skis for Will and Marcus and Bob, and they loved them. And then, you know, as skiers, we said, well, if these are what we want to ride, these are probably what our friends want to ride. We started to introduce super light versions of the crossover skis. So you have a super light CX and a super light TX. And in simple terms, they are a CX made with syndicate materials or a TX made with syndicate materials, which is carbon fiber and that lightweight PC and foam core. Well, I think the limit's been rewritten, you know, because I, you know, like two days ago, I walked, I actually drove. Will Asher was riding a super light CX in our photo shoot. Dave was driving and Sam was watching. And he ran 41 off at 34 miles an hour. I think it's the sleeper. I think it's the most underrated ski in our line. And so that rewrote the performance envelope for me on that ski. I used to tell people, I said, hey, it's a great ski. It really wasn't designed, you know, to run beyond 38 off. But to see how easy Will ran 41 on it, I think it made us re-question what's possible. If, if you said to me tomorrow, hey, I need you to go and compete at 34 miles an hour, I'm like, Dave, just send me that CX. I truly believe that these super light CX and TX skis are probably more suited to the guys running 22 off, 28 off, and 32 off. In essence, they can run 22, 28, 32, potentially 35 better on the super light versions of these crossover skis than they could on a VTX or VTR. And there's really only one way to find out, and that's to ride them. In HO, we have a demo program. It's an awesome program. You can demo any syndicate ski or super light ski. Uh, for three weeks, relatively inexpensive in, in the grand scheme of things. And you can ride a Superlight CX back to back with a VTR or a VTX and let the score stand for itself. I mean, if you run more buoys or have a better ski experience on a Superlight CX, there is no reason that you shouldn't, you know, own that thing and ride it like you stole it. <laughs> Don't be afraid to try them. I mean, I think 41 off is the limit now. I think you're good for a while. <laughs>